Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysius here, and I'm back yet again with yet another Super Powers video, and today comes courtesy of my friends over at McFarlane Toys, we're going to be checking out the complete fourth wave of their brand new Super Powers 2 lines, kicking it off with some new vehicles. We have a Batmobile, a very retro-styled Super Powers Batmobile, and I'm actually really stoked on the look of this thing, it's very much Kenner. It just has a lot going on that harkens back to the good old days, right? And on the back side, you get to see everything it entails. You got some hidden rocket boosters. Pretty cool. You also have a bat battering ram. That's cool. Battering bat, right? Good. I'll keep going. Seats two figures. Love that. And here's the barcode for when these start to hit Walmart store shelves or any store shelves because now... They're available everywhere, even on Amazon. I'll put links down in the description below. Same thing with the Invisible Jet. Wonder Woman's Invisible Jet. No joke. I remember when they revealed this, people thought it was a joke. <laughs> no. Well, hopefully there is a, an Invisible Jet somewhere in this box. And like the Batmobile, it's got functionality to it. The canopy pops open, just like the Batplane and, of course, Superman's boxing glove ship. It's got a capture claw, and it seats one figure only one figure here's the barcode for wonder woman's the invisible jet but with an invisible jet you're gonna need a wonder woman now this we've already gotten this was in the last wave wonder woman herself but she's sporting more classic colors blue cape we'll look at her right on the back side you get to see everything now 14 figures in total for the Superpowers McFarlane line. You got these two new vehicles, which we'll be checking out. And you can read up on Wonder Woman now if you want to go ahead and screen grab this. And here's her barcode as well. These are actually starting to hit store shelves now with Aquaman. I'm kind of stoked on Aquaman. I have thoughts on this Aquaman. I like the artwork a whole heck of a lot better, I think, than the actual figure that we got unfortunately you can find out all about arthur curry if you want to screen grab this and here is aquaman's barcode as well he's a bit of a dc rebirth they're calling it now these right here i'll save you some time are the best of said wave batman and robin batman of course being pretty much a true classic callback to the original superpowers he's got the blues he's got the grays he's got the little bit of the black shade on the mask it looks great you can find out about Bruce Wayne now, if you've never known about what happened to Bruce Wayne, right? This is the classic detective. Also, I like that name for this Batman. You also have Robin. This is Tim Drake Robin. This is a Robin I think of. This is a Robin I love the most. It's a Robin I grew up with, and he looks pretty darn stellar. I wish that he had a different cape. But again, you can read up on Tim Drake if you'd like. And here's the barcode for him as well. Now, like I said... These are now going to be up and available everywhere, except Black Manta. Black Manta will be a Walmart exclusive. I know, I can already hear the grunts and the groans. But Aquaman's greatest enemy, Black Manta, you can read up on him right here. And here's the barcode. He is actually starting to hit Walmart store shelves now, so keep an eye out for him as well. So in either case, this is going to be an absolute blast, a retro blast. Sit back, relax. Grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the complete superpowers to the Batmobile, the Invisible Jet, Batman, Robin, Black Manta, Aquaman, and Wonder Woman by McFarlane Toys. And while I got all you superheroes here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube videos. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. The fact that this is being made in 2023 is awesome so here's the complete spread of figures right is typical with mcfarland toys sizes will vary on certain characters right some are gonna be a little bit too much taller than others and what i think about uh, with classic characters but we'll kick it off with wonder woman and like i said this is to me this is gonna be the dud of the wave in so many ways right i appreciate we're getting wonder woman but i feel like we already got this figure but now She's in more of the classic colors, but she's just a repaint, so it's not perfectly classic colors. She comes with a blue cape. They've actually improved upon the capes. I can tell you it's no longer taffeta. It's not that paper-like wrapping paper material, right? seems like the head sculpt is fine. The sculpt on it is fine, although now with this new sort of flesh tone, you can really see the bags under her eyes, you know what I mean? Oddly enough, 
You can kind of sort of move her head. It's the hair is going to get in the way. You can remove the cape. Although, it's as you can clearly say, it's going to get caught up in her hair a little bit. But you can, with some tenacity, you can get it off her. You can also put it back on. You're going to put it on the same way you got it off, right? Just FYI. Now, the colors are great for the most part. But again, it's a repaint. It doesn't exactly match up to what we think about with more of what's on the box, right? And I think we've talked about that till we're blue in the face. They do have some ratchet joints, as you'll see on these new ones. It's kind of cool. It kind of clicks in a way. It's not a bad Wonder Woman. It's just definitely not my fave of the wave. And as you can clearly see between the last wave's Wonder Woman and now the new one, red cape, blue cape, darker colors, lighter colors, you get the idea, right? It's just kind of like, all right, that's fine. The guess the capes, like I said, vastly improved upon. But once it's on your shelf, you're really not going to think about it. Ten bucks is ten bucks. It's a decent enough figure for ten bucks, I will say that. So, yeah, it's just okay. As far as I'm concerned, good paint, good sculpt, yada yada. Anyways, moving on, we have Arthur Curry, and he has a big old trident. It's a bit of a gummy trident, but it's still pretty rigid. Aquaman himself, I'm going to be honest with you, I think from the neck down, looks pretty good, right? The head, yeah, it kind of looks like Aqua Jesus, right? <laughs> so many ways. Now, I do like that they paid attention to detail. He's got the little fins on the back, the orange, the greens, the yellows. It all stands out, looks good. He's got the little A on his belt. He's got the basic superpowers, articulation, no these ones do not have the action anymore, right? That would have been kind of cool, but I get why they're not doing it these days. Head articulates, hair doesn't get in the way, you got the open hand, so that you can totally just pop in the Triton. And he holds it well, right? That's really nice to see. You can get him in a flight stand, maybe swimming through the ocean. He's on his way to stop Black Manta. The sea is the limit, right? So, overall, pretty cool. The one gripe I got with this guy, it's kind of on the old superpowers body now. And honestly, he's a little bit too tall for now Batman and everybody else. Now, I will say, for the previous two Batman and Supermans, that would work. But with the new classic detective, he's entirely too big. Aquaman is supposed to be around Batman's size. He's just a big, bulky figure, which doesn't really fit. So that would be the only gripe. Now, Tim Drake Robin, overall, it's a pretty solid figure, I have to say. Of course, I'm going to bring up the cape again, but I'm not going to do it to ad nauseum. The greens are great. The black, he's very much Batman in the animated series costume too, if you think about it in that way. But the yellow of the cape, I really wish that they would just go that extra mile and stitch together a black cape and a yellow cape, just like the old days, because you can't do it two-sided. It doesn't make any sense. You'd have to use double capes. If they did that, it would look stellar. I'm going to bust out my Batman in the animated series cape, and you'll see what I'm talking about. The R is great. Everything is awesome. He's got peg holes on the bottom of his feet. The arms will go all the way up. I like the detail on the gloves. That's really cool, especially on the shoulders. They nailed it. The head sculpt is great. It's fine for what it is. It's very classic, toyetic design, which I am totally a fan of. It doesn't have to be spot on. These are supposed to be representation in a toy form. Pop the yellow cape off, and I'll show you personally. You have Batman the Animated Series right here, right? See how it's a double-stitched black on one side, yellow on the other? It's a very well done cape, but how great does this look on this Tim Drake Robin now? See, black on one side, yellow on the other. I really wish, and this is my high hopes, is that McFarland Toys sees the comments, sees the people saying, we love superpowers, we love DC Multiverse, everything. And they really start paying attention to detail. That's the biggest gripe with collectors, because when you have just a plain yellow cape, it is fine, don't get me wrong, but it's not great. It's just kind of like, thanks a lot. Now, Batman, on the other hand, this is the true highlight of the wave. This is fantastic. The blues, the grays, the legs aren't pinched in. They did a fantastic job. This is probably one of the best recreations of bringing back the old superpowers. It could be Super Friends. It could be 70s to 80s Batman. It just looks stellar. This is a really cool Batman figure i absolutely love the way it looks the blues are perfect on this guy you have that classic shield logo right there on his chest the fists it's awesome i'm very happy with it again he has the ratcheted knees which look great peg holes on the bottom and the cape such a vast improvement right <laughs> looks good with it on or off to be honest with you now to show you the hush batman that was in wave one 
And I did like this figure, and I still like this figure. It's totally fine. But you see how they have vastly improved on the proportions of these figures. I don't mind when you have comic book proportions, but I am going to gravitate more towards the classic detective Batman now because it looks better. And, the good thing about it, there's no hole punched in through the cape. So, yeah, they've improved with this Wave 4. It's taken a while, and as you can see, the cape switched, but it looks much better in the traditional sense, right? Awesome figure overall. Highly recommend classic detective Batman. Now, you get the Walmart exclusive Black Manta. Don't forget, this is a Walmart exclusive and I gotta tell you, next to Classic Detective Batman, next to Tim Drake Ramen, the fantastic villain, and they nailed it. It's very simplistic, but it's a very old school look for Black Manta, and it totally works. Very basic articulation. I got a little blemish on the underside of the helmet. That's okay. Not gonna see it for the most part. The wires in the helmet don't get in the way. They're long enough to where you can actually move the head around. Easy peasy, no problemos. It's very simplistic. My only gripe is that maybe he had an open hand, maybe he could hold a weapon. None of these figures come with accessories minus Aquaman, to which I would actually like to see more of that. Little batarangs, a Robin staff, something like that. But yeah, they definitely nailed Black Manta. And I mean, there's only two villains in the entire McFarlane Toys Superpowers 2 line so far, right? I mean, Deathstroke and Black Manta. Literally, no one else. No one did... No, no, we're good. Literally, no one else except for Deathstroke and Black Manta. So, if you're interested, highly recommend this guy. He's a lot of fun. So, when you have classic Detective Batman, you have Tim Drake Robin, and now you have Nightwing... Nightwing is kind of like the Aquaman. He's a little bit too big now, whereas I think they're hitting that stride and sweet spot with the way the Batman and the Robin look. So more of that. If you have the old Kenner Swamp Thing to see Flash next to him, you kind of see this is kind of where Wave 4 fixed a lot of stuff, and I would like to see them continue on and maybe ixnay those old Wave 1 bodies. Because as you can see, Aquaman, Flash, Batman, Wonder Woman, Superman, and... John Stewart Green Lantern. I mean, honestly, from a kid's perspective, that looks pretty darn cool. From my perspective, it still looks pretty darn cool, but I would just like a little bit more attention to the heights, please. Now, any good figures, of course, that's totally fun, but the real treat of these McFarlane Toys Superpowers 2 figures are in the way of the vehicles because they're just so spot on. They're amazing. These are the best parts. So now you have Wonder Woman's invisible jet. And like I said, totally thought it was a joke. Everybody thought, oh, it's joking around. No way they're doing an invisible jet. Yeah, the whole thing is invisible and it's pretty crazy to see. Now it does come in pieces. You're gonna have to fix the, the wings and the top part and everything else. It's very easy peasy. Of course, it's very self-explanatory and it does disassemble nicely. But as you can see the detail of everything, once you get it into visible mode, it looks really cool. It's just a fun, superpowers, old school looking DC vehicle, and it works so well in toy form. You can see the Wonder Woman symbol. It pops open the canopy to kind of do an anime style, right? Different <laughs> angles. You do have this capture claw right here that pulls down. That's awesome. You got the little Wonder Woman symbol. The little claw will open. It's ratcheted, so it's not going to become loose. It does the trick. You got a little yellow lasso of truth right kind of thing and basically to wind it up you're going to pull down on this part of the jet up here just push it down simple and it retracts the capture claw and i absolutely love it these are old school toys and i'm so happy again in 2023 that they are making these now we're going to pop the canopy we're going to place our wonder woman figure in there just kind of align her cape a little bit right you're set to go you got a villain we'll say we'll use deathstroke right of course he's causing trouble he's trying to blow something up i don't know but anyways you go ahead and pull the capture claw down you get the capture claw open just like so get around his waist like really get it around his waist right remember the button up here you're gonna push down on that and it's just gonna whoop, get him going and you fly off and save the day now the batmobile next to the invisible jet the invisible jet is pretty darn cool but the batmobile itself with the new batman and the robin is pretty freaking amazing i gotta say like that is an old school superpowers functional batmobile it's got the little bat battering ram in the front that's so fun imagine if these came out years and years ago which yeah technically they did 
But again, you got the little Batman symbol right there. On the underside, not much going on, on the underside. The wheels spin, right? It's just a very cool toy. And that's what's most important. It doesn't have to be a collector's item. It's just a toy. There's plenty of personalization with Batman everywhere. Just FYI, of course. Now, right here, there's no button or anything. At least one that I couldn't find. You kind of just lift that up. And you have these hidden rocket thrusters that are kind of on a hinge, right? And so... Uh, maybe could have done a little bit more stickers, maybe had some fire effect pieces, something like that to really sell us on the whole jet thrusters, right? But you just simply push the black part down and it goes in there. Even inside the cockpit, you got stickers galore. You can even turn the Batman steering wheel. Of course, it's shaped like a bat, right? Inside, dual cockpit, enough space for two figures. Who to thunk it, right? But let's get old Batman here and slip him into the driver's seat. Again, just adjust the cape, and uh, let's get Robin too, right? Dual seater, and, and you really don't need anything more than that. How cool is that? Even the windshield has that old school, really darkened orange, right, tinge to it. It rolls around. You could push this thing down several flights of stairs, flip it over. I mean, I'm assuming it would be good. So you get the Batman who laughs, the battering ram, and just take him out because no one likes the Batman who laughs anymore. I take it back. After the way that story concluded. Get out of here, Batman who laughs. No one's laughing anymore. We're all kind of just depressed. <laughs> but we're definitely not depressed with this superpowers Batmobile. Hands down, Batman, Robin, this Batmobile as a whole, it's amazing. Highly recommend it. And if you were wondering, yes, you could put classic Detective Batman in the Batwing from Superpowers 2 Wave 1. And of course, I like the colors that they've chosen for the new Batmobile because it goes really nice with the Batwing. So everything kind of meshes and gels and it's just a lot of fun. Yes, the Hush Batman can drive the Batmobile. So that will wrap it up for my look at Wave 4 of McFarlane Toys' Super Powers 2. So much awesome in this wave. There are still some gripes, of course. They still have things to work on, but it's nice to see that if this was it, to be honest with you, I would be stellar and stoked the fact that we got wonder woman's invisible jet is just icing on the cake at this point i would say definitely let's get some more villains going and based on sdcc already let's get a lot less repaints of batman and superman let's do some more characters and, and let's try to incorporate just a little bit more details when it comes to capes and such you're on a roll with the capes but let's make the capes, yeah, a little bit more. I know they're doing another Robin, but he's going to have a black cape. So probably I'm just going to end up getting that one and put the black on top of the yellow and put it around his neck. Who knows? But in the meantime, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything superpowers too. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, let me know down in the comments below. What are your honest thoughts about this? Are you superpowers? Are you Batman 66? Or are you DC Multiverse? Or are you all three? And when you do... Let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.